Hello, I'm Rex Busterfield, and this is a video about my Quilcom Osverb. The Osverb is a rather strange, weird effects plugin that I've been thinking about the possibility of for some time, and I wanted to hear what it would sound like, so I made it. The Osverb is not really a reverb, although there are some similarities in the way it works. It doesn't make use of lots of delays and comb filters, nor does it use any convolution method. Instead, it uses 61 synthesizers, and each one of these is tuned to a pitch and responds to the amplitude of the incoming pitch and waveform harmonic components. Now, because we're using synthesizers, uh, it means we have control over the envelope of, from the envelope follows the time constants. We can tune the synthesizers, offset the tuning, and alter the waveform created and modulate that with the incoming envelope. We have a couple of LFOs which can be synced or free running and they can modulate the amplitude, the pitch or the tone of the synthesizers and we have some control over the side chain, um, stereo dry wet mix and a, and a choice of three pan schemes. This is the scale keyboard and with this we can determine which notes um, respond by selecting them uh, with the mouse and only those notes will actually respond um, which is better in some cases um, than the fully chromatic response which can sound a little bit dissonant well actually very dissonant uh, for complex signals so that's a very brief overview and as usual there's uh, lots more information in the included user guide. So now it's time for some audio demonstrations uh, during which I'll uh, maybe say a few words and uh, fiddle with the knobs and stuff and, uh, and get some idea of uh, the sounds that this thing can create. <laughs> Now I'll make use of uh, a very simple synthesizer and you can hear the effect on a very pure tone source. Bring in 
um, the second harmonic, um, you will hear that the reverb tile follows that too. <laughs> So now I'll change from a single sine wave to a single sort of. Now the 61 synthesizers only respond to discrete pitches, but because of the shape of the filter, there is a, a smooth transition from one pitch to another. But if you bend a note slowly, you can hear these discrete steps. Now for complex sounds like uh, vocals or even complete mix, it's probably not a good idea to use all the chromatic notes. So I've loaded a, a piece of demo music in and I'll mess around with the scale and some of the other parameters so you can get an idea of what you can do with a complete mix. She's falling in, but I said, okay. I'm falling in, but she said, Something I had a bit of fun with was uh, loading a simple uh, rhythm track in, drums and stuff, uh, and just trigger one or maybe two notes. So I'll uh, demo that now.
So my Cookham Mosfer may be entirely useless for you. I don't know, but I like experimenting and messing around with ideas that I get. And um, if you do find a use for it, I would be <laughs> very pleased and somewhat surprised. Anyway, have some fun maybe, and uh, until the next time, bye!